everyone. It's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Today, I thought we'd have a look at five of my favourite trucks in FS22. Now, I'm saying favourite. I'm not saying top five, because I think everybody's got their own opinion on their favourite trucks. But these are the ones that I tend to really enjoy using and go back to again and again and again. Now, I'm going to caveat right at the start of the video. I'm very aware that the selection of trucks for console is nowhere near as good as it is for us PC players in FS22 and unfortunately that's down to licensing and so on and so forth so everything you see here is going to be a PC truck bar one uh, and we'll come to that later on now you can see six in front of me here now the two at the back there is actually the same truck um, with different setups so we'll come to that in a little while but without further ado let's jump in and have a look at five of my favorite trucks in FS22. First up, we have got the fantastic Ford Super Duty Limited 2020 version from Northwest Mods and Edits. Now, if you watch my channel uh, regularly, you will know how much I enjoy this truck. I'm forever selecting this one in games because, for one, it looks phenomenal. But two, the options you have available for you with this are off the charts. So let's jump in and have a quick look at it in the store. So we'll find it in the cars in the store. Let's jump in here. This is the 2020 Ford Super Duty Limited. In terms of styles, we've got the 350SRW, the SRW F times four, the 350DRW, the DRW times four, the 450, the 450F4, and the 350 flatbed, which has got this nice workbed on the back of it. Space for a fifth wheel hitch there. Uh, support options. In fact, let's just go back to the 450 because this is the one I usually spec out. Uh, headache racks. We have the Magnum Low Pro. Turn around so you can see this. High Pro or nothing. Support options here. We have the diesel transfer tank or nothing. Toolboxes. You can add box option one. Box option two or back to nothing. Work lights. Again, you can have these if you have a rack. So let's pop a rack back on there. So there you go. You've got two large lights there that appear above the rack. Got rear bumper lights as well, which you can see have appeared there. Rack and bumper lights. You've got flatbed lights as well. You've got a flatbed on. And back to none. Mud flaps as well. Front, rear, or all four. Front bumpers. You have got the Aries bull bar, removing the lower air deflector, or standard. Decals is a little bit of an extra. I've added in with the Farm Sim Guy logo on there, so you don't get that in the model you would get from Northwest Mods and Edits. And then finally, attaches at the back here. You've got the trailer hitch. You've got the gooseneck hitch in the back there, which looks great. And you can have both of those together as well. Or none, should you so wish. Colour-wise, you've got colours galore. You've got the navy pier in here, which leaves this nice finish inside the truck, actually. Split with the white. Very, very nice. Main colours. But two greys. A nice black. Bright blue. And a nice red as well. Flatbed colour as well. You can change this. So let's just go up and switch back to that flatbed so you can see it. And colour the flatbed up as well. Very patriotic truck that, isn't it? Bull bars as well. You could have a red bull bar again. We don't have that selected at the moment. So let's pop that bull bar on so you can see that colour change. Uh, toolbox again. Black or silver. We don't have a toolbox on at the moment. You can't see that, but let's add that in, shall we? So there's your standard colour in chrome 
or you've got it in black as well, which looks very nice. And then finally, rim colors. You've got your chrome. You've got stainless steel, which looks great as well. Or you've got a nice gum metal gray as well. So just having a look around this now, as you can see, it's an extremely high poly count model. You can see on the arches of the wheels there that uh, this has been really, really highly detailed, even the, the hooks on the front there uh, and the detail on the front. That is one of the reasons why it's not on console as well, because it is an extremely high poly count model. And that's, to be honest, Northwest Mods and Edits um, position, they make very high quality PC mods. Now if you jump inside it, you can see all of this wonderful detail inside, absolutely brilliantly specced out. Fantastically done, and like you said, the detail really shines through here. Have a quick look into the back seats there. Everything where it should be, in that lovely two-tone interior there as well. Beautiful! And if you fire it up, you can see all the readouts appearing on the screen as well. Looking really good. There's your GPS, and then you've got your menus there. They don't work. That's basically a static image, but uh, still nice to see that loading screen before they appear. And uh, all in all, an absolutely tremendous truck. You pull away, you can see the stick moving there as you do that. And uh, what a great, great mod this is. Absolutely brilliant. There's a few subtle animations on here as well, which are quite nice, a few interactive pieces. So pressing X opens the tailgate, which is very nice. Uh, if I press and hold the right mouse button and move up and down, you can see we have adjustment in the mirrors there, which is a very nice touch. And if I press and hold the left mouse button down, I can move the hitch up and down as well. So you can adjust that depending on what sort of trailer you're towing. Um, all in all, this is a superb mod. I absolutely love it to bits. Uh, definitely up there as one of my favorites. So if you haven't got this and you would like it, I'm going to put a link in the description to Northwest Mods and Edits Facebook page and you can go and pick up the 2020 Ford Super Duty Limited from there. Next up we have the gorgeous 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 from Carl Farms. This was one of my favourite trucks way back in FS19 and he's brought it back for FS22 with a few tweaks to it and it's absolutely brilliant yet again. Again, PC only due to the high poly count and the details and the customization in it, but let's jump into the shop and have a look at it. So here we are in the store for some reason. We have the Ford logo up at the top there rather than the Chevrolet logo, but it's definitely a Chevy, no question about it. And we'll jump in and have a look at some of the settings. So engines, you've got a 4.3 litre, you've got a 5.3 litre V8, a 6.2 litre V8, and back to your 4.3 litre. Wheel options, you've got all-terrain, an all-terrain style two, slightly uh, wider tyre, style three, style four, mud terrain, so you can see a little bit more grip in there, Mud Terrain 2, this is just changing the alloys in the middle there. Mud Terrain 4, Mud Terrain 5, Mud Terrain 6. Performance, again, switching back to those tyres. Performance 3, 4, 5. You have the line edition, these lovely black rims on there as well. And back to all terrain. Let's stay with the line edition, they look nice. Trim level, you've got your WT, you've got your LT. You've got your LTZ71, which as you can see, some quite uh, radical changes to the front end there, color-coded. Uh, LTZ, LTZ71, and your high country. And back to your WT standard. We're going to go for high country because, you know, the rules are when you set these things up, you go all out. Bull bar, you've got style one, style two. Style 3, Style 4, you can see the subtle differences there. Style 1 with a light bar, puts an LED light bar on the top. Style 2 and a light bar. I can't see a light bar there, that's interesting. I wonder where. Oh, the light bar is on the front of the bumper there, there you go. So many options, I can't even work out where they are. Style 3 with a light bar, Style 4 with a light bar, and back to normal. I think we'll just leave it as is there. Mud guards, you can add them to the rear to the front, or both. 
Uh, window tints as well. You've got tinted or not. Wheel spacing as well. I quite like this one, actually. Default. And then you go up in increments of 0 0.05. So 1, 15, 2, and back to 0 0.05. Design for running boards now, because we're in the high country spec. Um, let's go back to our WT, uh, but show the running boards. You can add them on here. Black, style one, or chrome. Style two black, or chrome. Rally style, or no running boards. Let's go back to our trim level high country, because we like that. Exhaust, you've got your default exhaust at the back there. Default jewels, one on each side. Your baller, your magna flow, your magna flow jewels. MBRP, I mean, look at that. That's insane. All back to normal. Uh, let's go for the MBRP. Attachments, no attachments. You've got your fifth wheel. You've got your trailer and your fifth wheel. Just your trailer attachment or nothing at all. Bed configurations as well. You've got a couple of covers on here. You've got a nice cover there. Uh, you've got the optional toolbox there. Ramps, you can see them in the side there. I think they're cosmetic rather than uh, they work. Uh, you've got your rally rail, which is really, really big, isn't it? Look how chunky that is. Uh, a second rally rail with the lights on the top. Third rally rail, slightly less uh, intrusive lights. Uh, a black rally rail, the same options with black colouring. You've got bed rails, nice chrome bed rails there, they look good. Bed rails in black, a hard cover, a second hard cover, and back to normal. And then mirrors, standard mirrors there, toe mirrors in chrome which unfold, uh, or you can have your toe mirrors coloured or in black as well. I'm going to go for the coloured ones because I want to show you how many different colour options there are here and we'll, we'll kind of do some wacky colours so you can see the differences. So choose your colour. So let's go with a nice gold there. You can see that. Uh, but then you can do crazy things like your Silverado emblem here. So your High Country logo there. Your bow tie on the front as well. Right in the middle there. Your toe hook. You can change the colour of that. There they are at the front. Uh, rim colour, obviously, you can change those. Now, because we've got the high-spec ones, it just changes this flash. If you have uh, different rims on, you can change the entire colour. Rear trim, you can see in the headrests there. Obviously, we would never do in these colours, but just to show you what's what. But so much, so much customization. in this. It's unreal. And uh, price-wise, it's pretty sensible as well. I mean, we've spec'd a lot out of that. And look, we're, we're still under $60,000 there, or euros, or whatever you use. So, very impressive and very reasonably priced truck. So as you can see here, we've got a rather nicely specced up model with lots of extras on it. You can see the detail in it as well. I mean, it's it's a fantastic truck. I, I really love this. This is another go-to uh, for me. Really, really nicely done. And it's, it's a stalwart, to be honest. That's probably the only word I can use to describe it. Um, my favourite truck in FS19 and it's back in FS22 looking just as good as ever. Again, let's have a little look inside at the interior because again, beautifully finished in here. Really, really nicely done. See the effort that's gone into this. It looks fantastic. Plain black in here for us this time. Little flashes of orange there on the sides. Uh, let's fire it up as well so you can see all the instrument cluster working up as well so my link and your digital screens coming up and as I pull away you see the stick move you can see the speed in the digital readout in the center there as well which looks really really good so there you go very nice so there you go the 2016 Chevy Silverado 1500 from Carl Farms, another absolute banger of a truck. Again, if you don't have this, link down there in the description. Now the third truck I want to look at is slightly different. This is the Land Rover Defender 90 from AF Modding. 
And the good thing about this one is this is available in the mod hub for all platforms. It is rebadged to Lizard for console, but other than that, everything is the same. So let's jump in and have a look at this one. Now, of course, I am British. I am from the European side of the Atlantic. So it's really nice to see a British classic uh, in the game in FS22. We do not have the options or selection or choice of vehicles in the 4x4 category as we do on the American side for for PC mods anyway. There are a lot more US-style trucks out there. But it's really nice to have this in, and especially if you're playing uh, English maps, British maps, uh, European maps, this fits in a lot more with that style of gameplay. And again, lots and lots of brilliant customization. And it's starting out, base price, 65,000 euros. Uh, and let's jump through some of these options. So you've got street, you've got mud, your tires. So just the two options there. You've uh, a couple of options on the roof. You have windowed or no windowed side there, if you see that. Uh, Left-hand drive or right-hand drive, which is, I think is a fantastic touch. Uh, very rarely do we see that as an option in vehicles, and I, for one, welcome that. That's really nice to see. Adventure kit, you have uh, a front grille. Uh, you have steps at the side. And if we keep going, we have the grille and the steps together. And then you have the adventure kit, which is a winch on the front, which I don't believe works at the moment. Uh, but all of that kind of robust uh, bull bar on the front, a roll cage on it as well, ladder on the back, some big floodlights, a snorkel exhaust, looking really, really good that. Lights stock, or, or LED for extra brightness. Reflective chevrons, uh, so you can have those on as well if you want to do some construction role play or something like that. That's very nice. There's a police version as well, so that's uh, really good. I should probably change the main colour of that so it doesn't look as weird but uh, as you can see lots and lots of different options for the colors there as well so uh, let's just change all of those so it looks rather nice so there you go put your own police land rover if you want that uh, rescue as well search and rescue and back to normal uh, beacons and light bar you've got standard you've got construction beacons on there as well police so red and uh, blue uh, rescue uh, you've got a construction light bar there, police, so we can see these LED light bar, light bar on the top, which is rather nice. Rescue 2, and back to normal. But like I said, lots and lots of choices of colours. Look at the choices you have here available to you. Absolutely brilliant. So you can really mix and match and make a really obscure <laughs> coloured vehicle, should you wish. But uh, I love this. I think it's a really, really nice mod. And I think it's been put together really, really well by AF Modding. And I know it's very popular in the Mod Hub. So, just a little pan around the outside before we jump in and have a look at the interior. And I think this is beautifully finished. I mean, it really feels uh, realistic, authentic. I think there's a brilliant job been done on the modelling of this to make it look the way it does. So, very nice indeed. As for the interior, a lot more, um, how should we say, industrial looking. Uh, the interior of a Land Rover and this one is looking really really nice nice seats space in the back there for two extra seats and uh, that open rear door there looking really nice beautifully done and if we fire this up we've got our display our digital display there and uh, our dials move and things like that it's looking really good and finally, there is a lovely little animation for opening the rear door here, and you can see the rear seats fold away into the back as well. Uh, very nicely done, this. Look at that. Super stuff. So there you go, the Land Rover Defender 90 from AF Modding. A really, really nice bit of kit, and uh, available for all platforms in the Mod Hub. So, go grab this one. Next up, we have a classic, the Chevrolet K30 Dually from Diesel Division Customs and Expendable Monig. I think this is a 1985 version, and I love this truck. If you've watched my Surviving Wyoming series, you will have seen this in action, and it's such a cool truck. It is massive. 
and uh, it's just fantastic from the ground up. I really, really like it. So let's jump in and have a look at some of the customizations on it. And there she is. Um, again, not sure why we have a Ford logo up here. It's a little bit random, but um, it doesn't seem to affect anything. So let's look at the options here. First of all, just look at this. How good is that? It's so good. Uh, price of 32700 so again, reasonably priced truck. We've got a couple of engine options, the 5.9 litre V12 Cummins, and the same engine, but with injectors and turbo, which sticks another $8,600 on, but does give you a ridiculous amount more horsepower. So 250 horsepower in this one, 641 with the injectors and the turbo. Wheel setup, you've got your standards. You've got off-road, chunky tyres. Interco MT, which starts to turn it into some sort of crazy monster truck. American Forces. And back to standard window tint. You've got this dirty scratched effect, which I really like, actually. Uh, don't see that very often. Or we can have them clean. You can have a medium tint, a little dark tint, a very dark tint. And back to dirty tools. We'll give you a little tool bed in the back there or nothing at all. Track bars, I'm trying to adjust this so you can see it on the side. If I put yes, you can see you've got these supporting struts underneath here, which look good. In terms of accessories, we have got uh, steps on the side there, the traditional old style steps. Uh, we've got flares, slightly uh, widened wheel arches there. Uh, CB radio inside the cab as well. Uh, steps and flares. Steps and CB radio, and then all three together, or just your flares and your CB radio. Any any combination you can think of, you've got that in there. Sticker. That puts your diesel division custom and your Cummins logo in the back window there, so I like that. Nice little touch there. Uh, LED light bar. You can have one of those on the bumper there at the front. You can also have it on the roof, should you wish. You can have two of them together. Or none at all. Lights, your stock lights, or you can put LED lights in there as well. Very nice. Color wise, all of these colors to choose from. So, some great range of colors. Your bumpers, you can have them in a nice glossy chrome if you want. Very nice. And your trim, let's pick something awful for the trim as well. That's your lights, your logos, your handles, everything like that. You can have in a gaudy colour as well. Your track bars, if you had them, we do have them. We can change those. There you go. You can see those and your rim colours. Crazy options for your rim colours as well. So you can really go to town with this. That is horrendous, isn't it? Ezo. Again, a quick walk around the outside of it. How good does this look? It really captures the essence of that. 1980s style of truck. Look at the detail down in the axles underneath as well. Really, really nicely done. Uh, yeah, big fan of this truck. As for the interior, it is a sea of beige, as you would expect for that era. Uh, but really nicely finished. There's your CB radio extra in there as well. A couple of bench seats, front and rear as well. It's nice though, it's really nice. Fire up the engine here as well. You can see the dials move, not a lot else, but your revs and your accelerator uh, speedo working there as well. So very nice indeed. A few nice little animations as well. Uh, if you press X to unfold the truck, you can see that the mirrors move from an internal to a towing setting. That's very nicely done that. I like that a lot. And of course, you've got an adjustable hitch at the back there and an opening and shutting tailgate as well. So, very, very nicely done. So there you go. The Chevrolet K30 Julie from Diesel Division Customs and Expendables modding again. PC only, as you would expect, because of the branding. But uh, I'll put a link for this in the description as well. And if you like it, you can go grab it. And last, but by no means least, we have got the 1970 F250 Ford from Diesel Division Customs and Expendable Modding again. Now, the reason I've got two of them here 
is because I wanted to show you how radically you can customize this. This is exactly the same mod, but due to the number of settings and upgrades you can do to it, you can make it look incredibly different. So you've got your old, maybe traditional farm truck there, and then this super customized version here with the race suspension, uh, large wheels, etc. But it looks fantastic. And again, this was uh, one of the stars of my Surviving Wyoming series, and I love it to bits. So um, really, really impressed with this mod. It's one of the best. So let's jump into the store and have a look at it. So there is the stock model that you get in the store. 310 horsepower, 74 miles an hour, with a 5.9 litre engine in it. It's a good, decent engine in it. Uh, but let's have a look at some of the customization of it, shall we? Stock hitch. A bulletproof hitch, which gives you a pretty substantial hitch there. Uh, stock hitch and a gooseneck inside. Uh, bulletproof and the gooseneck and back to your standard stock hitch engine. Like I said, the 5.9 litre. Uh, you've got the edge and compound version, which pushes up to 615 horsepower. And back to the standard. Well, I would question if that has a standard engine, but back to the... The regular engine. Wheel setup, you've got standard, you've got rancher, you've got off-road, you've got off-road and spacers, you've got rancher 35 BFGs, black rhino, Yokohama geolanders, and your 39 BFGs, which looks phenomenal. How good does that look? Uh, 37s. And the TIS 548 Nitros. Interesting. Not my cup of tea, but you've got them there as an option if you want them. And back to standard. Let's go for 39s. They look great. Uh, lights. You've got your stock lights. You've got roof lights on there as well. You've got custom lights. Custom lights and your roof lights. And back to your stock lights. Front grille, player mount, and mud flaps. You can go stock. Stock and player mount. Not sure how easy a player mount would work with those large tyres, but there you go. Stock with mud flaps. Stock with plough and mud flaps. You've got a 71 front grille, so a slight upgrade. If this is the 1970, maybe that's the, uh, the facelift from 1971. And then you've got all of those options again. And then you've got a custom front grille as well. And again, with all of the options and back to stock. Now you've got suspension add-ons as well. You've got rear track bars, as you can see. Puts those stiffening bars in there, which is great. Track bars, front and rear. Stab bars. Fox steer shocks, as you can see in there. And again, we'll explain to you, if you didn't already realize that this is PC only, uh, using additional brands in there as well, but you can see those shocks inside the wheel arches there, looking really, really good. Track bar, stab bars steer shocks so many options i'm just clicking through and then back to normal two tones and trims as well you've got this quite nice option bottom and side trims you've got top side trims there both side trims but your two-tone and then obviously your two-tone with the different trim options which looks really good too i mean look at that how good a truck does that look bed add-ons as well we've got a few of these you've got the spare tire on the side got your weather guard box You've got a Magnum rack. Magnum and a weather guard. You've got a roll bar as well, which looks really, really good. Camper shell. A topper. And back to normal. I'm going to put the roll bars on because it looks so good with those. Uh, and then your bumpers. Stock bumpers. You've got an LED bar on the front there. Uh, you've got your bull bar. You've got another bull bar. The camel front bull bar with an LED on the front. Camel rear as well, which gives you that black bumper there, which is nice. Camel rear and bull bar, LED bar, trophy bumpers, and back to stock. Stock mirrors, you've got side steps as well there. You've got runners there, aluminium runners. Uh, running boards again, uh, power steps. Light duty mirrors. <laughs> Look at those. Well, if they do the job. Uh, and then light duty mirrors with all the options again. 
and back to your stock mirrors. At interior, you've got bench seats, bench seats and CB, bench seats and gun rack, which gives you a rifle in the back as well. A bench seat, CB and gun rack. Bucket seats with a wooden console, as you can see, that's changed things uh, from what was in there before. Let me just jump back to the previous one so you can see the difference. There you go. So bucket seats with all the options as well. Now what we'll do, we'll go back to bucket seats so you can see what's going on in there. And then exhaust and stickers. So you've got stock and your rear stickers, which is your Cummins logo and your diesel division customs in the rear window. Um, you then have stock with a bumper sticker there. If you ate yesterday, thank a farmer. Both stickers. And then you are into your bigger exhausts with stickers. Your MBRP exhaust as well. In terms of colours, some nice options here. So your main colours, you can switch those up. Put your trims here, uh, which is your top trims. Your stripe, which is your lower colour. So let's give that a slightly different colour so you can see what's going on. Bumpers and grills, all the options. For those as well and your rim colors all the options for those as well so again really really customizable fantastic and this is just such a good looking truck maybe not in those colors but it really is a good looking truck so again just a quick look around so you can see the detail in this it is tremendous really really like this truck the detail in it is uh, off the charts Jump inside it here, you can see the interior trim, even, look at that, the Diesel Division Customs tag on the ignition key there. You've got your stick, you've got your CB radio, these nice bench seats, just looking around, a nice trim on the roof as well. Really, really nicely done model on the inside as well. Let's uh, fire up the engine as well. So there you go, you can see the lights coming on on the dash. This little digital readout, almost like a cell phone readout um, thing as well and there we go we pull away you can see the speedo moving on the dash the rev counter but obviously you've got the digital readout as well just a really nicely done truck now in terms of animations on this one there's some nice ones on this one you can of course uh, fold and unfold your tailgate there Holding down your left mouse button opens your left hand door. You move it to left and right. If you move it up and down, you can open and shut your windows. How good is that? Again, same if you hold your right button down, you can open and shut your right hand door. And moving up and down moves those windows up and down. Ah, look at that. You can even see the handle moving on the inside. Beautifully done. Really nice, and the light going on on the inside as well. Interior light, fantastic. So, there you go. The 1970 F250 from Diesel Division Customs and Expendables Modding. Beautiful, beautiful truck. One of my favourites. Well, that's us arrived at our destination. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, it's something I did in 19. Uh, we did best tractors, we did best combines, things like that. If, if you uh, like this I want to see more, if you'd like to know what some of my favourite tractors are, some of my favourite implements, some of my favourite vehicles, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what we can do for future videos. But for now, from me, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.